What's up, YouTube? I figured I've been leaving y'all out some, so. I got the frame up here on this side. It's ready to go off the powder coat. Well, get sandblasted first. Send it off to get sandblasted. Come back, weld it up some, and then I get it powder coated. But I got some wood that I've been chiseling this out all day. I wish I had a uh, wood router. I got an indention in here because we about to take the body from the frame on the Malibu. We got the whole front end apart. Got that done in under an hour. Whole front end is apart. Everything is loose. All the body mounts is off the car already. Took them all out with the impact. They all came out. I did see that there was two spots in the trunk where uh, it looked like they repaired it. Of course, both the back uh, frame horns on this Jeep body has been replaced. And they're both starting to rust out again. So that was the whole reason for the other frame. Just hopefully the body mounts on the actual body ain't too messed up. But everything is disconnected. Steering shaft. I said everything is disconnected. We got our four wheels on rollers. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on everybody's different way and take of how they took their body off their frames. And this one is pretty much my favorite one. Seemed the most doable. But I really picked two. It's one person with an old 442. And there's another guy with a uh, Pontiac Le Mans. I did a combination of them two on how I wanted to take this one apart. Like I said, everything is disconnected, is loose. Got to wait till a little later on today for everybody to bring me their extra floor jacks. And then we'll put a piece of wood there, jack the body up on each side. Once that's up in the air where I got two more pieces of wood, we'll slide them underneath the full length of the car. And then since the frame is on rollers, we'll just be able to move it around, roll it out the way, roll it clean from underneath here. That's why the frame is thrown up against the wall. Got to move these two, uh, two tool boxes over there against the wall so I can slide everything. We'll slide this whole frame out and then I'll be able to take it out there and I'll leave it somewhere outside. I'll put it for sale, but I don't know exactly if anybody going to want, you know, a rusted out frame. Of course, they could use it for sections if their stuff is wrecked in the front. It's pretty good in the front. Ain't nothing messed up with it. It's just the rear section. Of course, I could also cut a couple pieces off of it, use it for a frame notch or something, but I don't know. Like I said, I'll put it up for sale. I'll probably give it a month. If it ain't going in a month or so, or if I ain't getting no real hits on it, I might cut a few pieces off and then everything else is going to go to scrap. And it'll just be scrapped. But, like I said, I thought I'd make a little update. Got the transmission out. I'm going to sell that. It got a brand new gas tank in it, but I was hoping it was the V6 one, but... It's not, but I still keep it for later on. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, got the block disassembled, fully disassembled. It's ready to go to the machine shop. Still got to get new rods and new pistons, and then it'll be ready to go. Still ain't sent the rear end off. I'll probably do that tomorrow. I need to take the axles out and the gears out. So I can take it up there, get that finished, welded, and yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it. Got four by four. This will be doing to lift the car, and then I got two six by sixes. Those will be underneath the car. A little overkill. I probably should have went with a, a four by six, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if the jacks will be able to lift that high for the six by sixes, but we'll see. They definitely heavy, but you know, I got uh, six ton jack stands. I just don't want the body to fall off, you know, come in the garage one day and the body then 
fell off because the thin ass wood broke or something like that. I don't want none of those problems. Like I said, other than that, it's ready to go. And yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it. Get everything together. Hopefully, like I said, we'll get that separated from each other. I'll go underneath there. Hit it with a wire brush or something. I ain't trying to do too much overkill. Wire brush. Probably do the brush on bed liner or whatever. Then I'm definitely going to have to send this off. Get this ready faster. Then get it underneath that car. So now I can have this whole bay back open to work on other cars. And hopefully bring the Cutlass home. I don't know if it'll sit over here or sit in the other garage. But... That'll be my update for today. Showing a lot of progress. Follow me on Instagram if you want progress. That's real fast. I get I post most of my information and most of my uh, things I'm doing for the, for the day on Instagram. Like I said, it'll show me taking this front end apart. And pretty much getting everything else ready. Take this off the frame. And hopefully we'll get it running, hopefully by the end of the year, at least. Yeah, that's good. I could say by the end of the year, hopefully we'll be able to get it to a point where the engine is back in it, paint is on it, and we're real close to getting it running. 